We're on the record in the matter petition by Susan, Susan Robinson. This is D21622430. Appearances for the record, please. Ashley Vasquez, bar number 14637, on behalf of the petitioner Susan Robinson, who is present with me. Also, for the record, I have my law clerk, Cheyenne Kidd. Thank you. Your Honor, good afternoon, Lewis Schneider, 9683, on behalf of Leonardo Hernandez, who's the natural father in this matter, Your Honor. Thank you, and on this particular case, we have well, reached an agreement, so what I'm going to have uh, you both do is, uh, Ms. Robinson and Mr. Hernandez, raise your right arm, please. You just solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in this action shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Sorry. You have to say a little bit louder, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, go ahead and put your arm down. And you can be seated for now, Mr. Hernandez. Ms. Robinson, can you please confirm your address for me? 8-9-0-3-1? Thank you. And can we please get a phone number for you? 7027822394. Did you get that? All right, and can I also get an email address? S-U-S-A-N-R-B-N-S-N-8 at gmail.com. Thank you. And then, Mr. and you can be seated now. Mr. Hernandez, can you please confirm your uh, phone number, or your, your address first? 875 East Silverado Ranch. Hold on, new address. Apartment Eight. 1011. Hold on, 875, you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you got the apartment? What's the apartment number? 1011. City and state? C city and state. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89183. Phone number, please? 702-234-8705. And an email, please. D O E B O I T A C O S at gmail.com. All right. So at this time, the parties have reached a stipulation in order in this case for grandparent visitation. What the agreement, uh, first of all, uh, Ms. Vasquez, you had an oral motion to amend, uh, or actually, you actually filed an amended complaint for grandparent visitation pursuant to NRS 125C050, is that correct? Correct. And at this point, you are um, not objecting to that? No objection, Your Honor. So we have the amended complaint. It shall be filed. We also have a stipulation in order. Included in that stipulation in order is that this stipulation in order shall operate as an answer to that amended complaint that we have just filed in open court. The agreement has been reached. Uh, for grandparent visitation rights in regards to Nevea Rain Hernandez, date of birth 9-6-2015. Um, it is undisputed that the minor child has been in the state of Nevada at least six months prior to this action being filed and that state of Nevada is a home state jurisdiction. Is that correct, Ms. Robinson? Yes. And you're going to have to say yes for me really loud just because yes. the air conditioner and I've got this plexiglass. Um, same with you, sir. Is that correct? Yes. All right. You have come to an agreement as follows. That... Miss Robinson, his grandmother, shall be um, awarded the following visitation of Nevea pursuant to NRS 125C050. Uh, and I forgot, let me, I'm going to add the C because the C got cut off. There, just adding the little C right above it. As follows. Every second weekend of each month from Friday, pick up from school or 3 p.m. if no school until Sunday at 3 p.m. In the month of August, visitation shall commence the Wednesday before the second weekend of the month at 3 p.m. until Sunday, 3 p.m., and the receiving party uh, shall be responsible for picking up. Every year for Susan's birthday, which is September 26th, she shall have visitation from 3 p.m. Or, no, uh, or if no school, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Susan's responsible for transportation. Every year for Nevaeh's birthdays, um, Susan uh, shall have visitation from Mar on March 7th for Giovanni's birthday and November 9th for Gabriel's birthday from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Susan's responsible for transportation. She shall also have every year, December 26th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I think it's actually supposed to be 6.30. Is that correct? Because we're allowing an extra half hour for, for transportation, yes, right? Sure. I'm actually going to write in 6.30. Is that all right, Ms. Vasquez? Yes. So 6.30 to 6.30 p.m. And I have made the modification and I shall sign by both modifications that I have made. Ms. Robinson, is this your understanding of the visitation schedule? Yes. And this is the schedule you've agreed to? Yes. Answer? Is this yes. the schedule you've agreed to? Thank you. Additionally, every Wednesday, there shall be a phone or video call between 7 p.m. to 7.15 uh, p.m. 
Leonardo is to ensure that Nevea calls Susan or makes that contact. You're responsible for it as the person who has the children in their care. Additionally, there should be no consumption of alcohol or drugs, including marijuana, up to 24 hours before a visit and during the visit. If the plaintiff or someone designated by her um, to transport the minor child consumes a controlled substance, including marijuana, that person may not drive the minor child until they are under the legal limit as designated pursuant to the DUI statute. Does that, uh, do you agree with that, ma'am? Yeah. Yes. Further, Susan shall be allowed to be involved and participate in Nevea's extracurricular and school activities. Leonardo will keep Susan informed of such activities through the Talking Parents application. Is that agreed upon, ma'am? Yeah. Leonardo? Yes. Additionally, um, Leonardo shall enroll in the Talking Parents application by April 3rd, 2022 at 5 p.m. Susan shall accept the invitation within 48 hours. The parents should enable push notifications and they shall do all communications through the talking parent application. Is that your agreement, ma'am? Yeah. Yes. And each party shall pay, pay their own attorney fees and costs. So have you gone over this agreement with your attorney? Yes. And this is the attorney you wish to, uh, this is the agreement you wish to enter today? Yeah. And you're doing so freely and voluntarily. Let me give you a minute on that. Mr. Hernandez, is this the agreement that you've uh, agreed in settlement? Yes, Your Honor. And you're entering into this agreement, uh, agreement freely and voluntarily? Yes, Your Honor. And you've been consulted with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. It's already been signed, but pursuant to EDCR 7.50, those will be the orders of the court. I have signed the agreement at this time. The non-jury trial currently scheduled for April 8, 2022 is hereby vacated. You'll be responsible, uh, Ms. Vasquez, for the notice of entry of order on that case, and it shall close. All right, we go off the record on that case.